Lost self-esteem, anxiety, depression, all symptoms of hair loss. Oftentimes women with hair loss sort of are perceived by others as, as not being healthy. But a promising solution is now on the market for men and women with no surgery and little side effects, PRP injections. Platelet-rich plasma. And it's really, it's fascinating. Think about the body's ability to heal. If we know the body heals itself, we can target those healing cells or regenerative cells, and that's what PRP is. That's right. PRP injections use your body's own cells to regrow hair. And Dr. Scott Bowden from the Hair Restoration Center of Connecticut services Western Massachusetts. He tells Western Mass News studies supporting the method have been around for nearly 30 years. The science makes good sense. Hair loss can be emotional, and new PRP injections are a promising technique that harness your body's capacity to heal naturally. The procedure is simple compared to other treatments for hair loss. First, the patient's blood is taken. Then, the plasma is processed in a two-step medical centrifuge, where healthy platelets that promote healing and growth are separated and re-injected in the scalp. The only side effect Dr. Bowden has seen is minor redness. It's pretty wild. There is not a specific FDA-approved protocol, but the injections have shown promising results when done by a professional. Dr. Bowden says he finds the PRP injections work well in conjunction with other therapies. On your screen are before and after photos of patients who have received PRP injections. The first had PRP injections with a transplant surgery. The second is a male who received PRP with stem cell therapy. The final photo is a woman who had thinning hair and also combined the PRP injections with stem cell therapy. I mean, it's an emotional concern for men and for women. PRP injections can be done alone. Women and men with generalized hair thinning and genetic hair loss would be the best candidates. The key to the success of the injections is maintenance. Dr. Bowden recommends getting them once a year.